I've heard it said uh, that people supposedly are only qualified as a fighter is based on how many fights they've had. When I say fighter, I'm not talking about professionally in a, a ring or in some, some form of uh, sports and so forth. I'm just saying a fighter, someone who can take care of themselves in a street situation. Let's look at it like that right now. Why is it even important you being a fighter or not being a fighter? Who thinks of these things? Where do they get these notions from to make these blanket statements? You're not a fighter. Who have you beat or beaten? I feel, I believe, that what tests an individual's ability is the test. But it shouldn't be necessarily measured by anyone else. And I gave an example to a friend earlier today um, that if someone broke into your home and you're a man and you're defending your family and you've never had a physical fight in your life, you would do everything within your power or means to protect yourself and your family. It's not based on your previous record of a fighter or brawler or what have you. It's based on the need, the necessity to protect what is yours. It's the will that determines the fight in a man or a woman, not you having a belt uh, in karate or some other form of martial arts or some belt in boxing, some championship awards and, and such. Now when it comes to, let's say, martial arts on a grander scale, uh, there are people who still are touting that Bruce Lee was not a real fighter. Like Chuck Norris's example that they used, said he was a world champion, he won championships. That's sport. That's the very reason Bruce Lee didn't want to engage in that. He respected it in its place. He trained for reality. And there's a multitude of evidence that proves that he was training for reality and not sport. Boxing, jiu-jitsu, karate, kung fu, various forms, weaponry, and the list just goes on and on. And he had a li library that he had amassed of approximately 2,000 books, all on fighting. Now, I don't think a person who's only engaging in the sport aspect of fighting for competition reasons would amass such a library on what? Fighting. You can't take that individual lightly. So again, why is it that we have to be measured by someone else's ruler as to our validity as a fighter? There are many martial artists that have never had a street fight doesn't mean that they're less effective if it came down to it. I think not. I would think, as Bruce Lee made the statement in Enter the Dragon, it's the art of fighting without fighting. Why are you seeking to fight in the first place? It's only one aspect and a very small aspect of our art, the fighting part. We're supposed to be disciplined, right? We're supposed to be individuals that are peaceful, who live peaceable lives alongside our fellow man, trying to avoid those types of conflicts. Am I right or wrong? So, the question is this. Again, are you a fighter? And if you want to say, well, I am a fighter, what makes you a fighter? I like fighting, you know, for the right thing. Fighting to protect someone else's rights, for example, your civil rights. I like those fights. Fighting to provide for my family. I like that fight. Who wants to engage in a physical confrontation with another human being when it can and or should be avoided?
at all costs because both parties may be injured and may not recuperate. So think on these things. Now, the title of this video was this. Do you have to have been in a fight, or any fights for that matter, in order to be able to fight? From a physical standpoint again, no. You just simply have to have the will to fight. Only and if that situation were to arise. That was it. And that was all. This is Grandmaster Stroud, brother teacher. So long.